Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Jack Ram here, Realtor with Simply Vegas, showing you today this uh, 2,787 square feet house built by Century Communities in the northwest side of the Las Vegas Valley. To be specific, we are in Sky Canyon. Sky Canyon uh, has to offer uh, these huge uh, two-story homes with the three-car garages, and they have a lot of neighborhoods out here with this kind of square footage. But this one is a uh, a nice uh, a nice layout that has never been modeled before and that's why i'm touring it here on this channel so you can you get to see what this house actually looks like from the inside not just on the floor plan we have uh, five bedrooms of which four bedrooms are upstairs with a huge loft and then a nice uh bedroom downstairs with its own uh bathroom actually it's not its own bathroom but we'll talk about that in a second we have a three-car garage up here and uh that's that's nice to see on a two-story tankless water heaters in the garage you have your front entrance is going to be covered and then this house is not finished yet this is one of their uh, quick move-ins inventories that is listed right now at 671 but you have a great size uh, backyard also with uh, you know quite some upgrades inside and i'll show them to you when we get in you can see here your side yard going to the back uh, and front of the house Walking in, this house does have upgraded luxury vinyl plate throughout the first floor. Um, you're going to have to use a little bit of your imagination here. Look at that big size back here, though. But you can see here, kitchen is kind of tucked away over there. And I love this floor plan. It actually is underestimated by a lot of uh, a lot of people that want to, you know, purchase this floor plan or the a house in this neighborhood because they have these bigger home models that they have available about 2900 square feet 3400 square feet which have a bigger downstairs but this one is very very uh, appealing in my opinion i'll show you why when we get upstairs uh, undermount sinks you have the, the walk-in shower here they upgraded this one to a culture marble surround with the seat and then you have that fiberglass pen um, still missing the mirrors and all that stuff but white shaker cabinets and then this luxury vinyl plank all throughout the first floor even in the bedroom down here so this is what you should expect with 671 purchase price at the time of this video they are uh, doing some incentives such as uh, five percent towards your closing costs which will buy down your rate significantly and pay for all your closing costs you can see sliding door closet downstairs good size bedroom we have about 10 by 12 down here it's not bad and then uh full bathroom now this is going to be shared with guests as well so be your entryway you have your living room right here it's a great size living room now one thing is one feedback that i heard is it's kind of narrow right compared to the other homes that they have available in this neighborhood but it's very functional it's it's actually a really good size as a matter of fact and what i like about this one is all the living space is in the back of the house so you have that whole back section right here full of windows letting in a bunch of light into the house which is really nice and this is a wide house okay that lot uh, this is a weird lot it kind of has a little cut off right here it goes diagonal but these lots are about 55 feet wide and the house is 45 feet wide which is great uh your kitchen here we have shaker cabinets, upgraded countertops, all that good stuff. At 670, seems like a pretty decent deal to me. Beautiful quartz. You have also a KitchenAid appliance package, the built-in microwave uh, oven underneath. And then you have the canopy hood by KitchenAid with the cooktop as well. Nine foot ceilings on both floors, by the way. And then this will be your setup for uh, your refrigerator. It even has the cabinets. Uh, enclosure for the fridge and on top if you get a counter depth refrigerator there it's gonna fit snug in there it's gonna look beautiful yeah and even aside we have two and a half inches right here two and a quarter i think on the on the wedge with your sink on the side good size island about three seats on that side and then a nice undermount sink Kohler, really good uh, materials that they use in here sink above the sorry the the window above the sink then this triple sliding door beautiful this is a, an expensive upgrade it usually costs about 12 to 16 grand depending on the on the sliding door to upgrade this one the backyard is actually a really good size and you can see here full 
uh, you know, built-in cover patio with a huge backyard. You can definitely put in a huge pool back there and then pavers underneath the backyard as well. This one also in this neighborhood, we don't have any neighbors behind you, directly behind you. There's a big street behind you, not big street. It's not really, it's Sky Canyon, you know, so it's not really busy, but uh, you can see those houses all the way back there. Those are about maybe a hundred feet back. So it gives you that privacy as well. And let's go, uh, hold on, let me close this off. The pantry. I don't know if I showed it to you. It's underneath the stairs. It's a decent sized pantry. Pretty nice. Garage, three car garage. The only downside to this one is there's not any room from that end of the door to the wall. So it's missing maybe a foot or two on that side, but still you get the tankless water heater, which saves room. And then three car garage on that side, you do have some space so you can put some storage or something you could fit three cars maybe not uh, you know maybe not three suvs but you know definitely if you have a smaller car you'll be fine so yeah nice upgrades i mean this house probably has about a uh, eighty thousand dollars or so in upgrades i would say because this flooring throughout the first down uh, downstairs is probably going to be about about 20k now look at this uh extra space right here. If you wanted to make an extra pantry or something, you can do that, or you can just make a storage space. As we go upstairs, we'll see the setup that they have. And this, I would argue, has probably the biggest walk-in closet in the primary of any other house. Probably in the biggest valley, I don't know. Anything in this price range for sure. Huge loft here in the middle that separates one bedroom. Uh, two bedrooms with this third one which is the primary no sorry that's the primary over here so you have a bedroom next to it and then you have your bathroom over here okay so let's make our way around let's look at everything we have your laundry room you see built-in cabinets already put in same coarse countertops included with the price of the house a nice monster i don't sponsor them i promise uh, your cabinet set up here in the laundry room with the full sink as well, which is awesome. And then it's just missing cabinets above there, but they put a, a wooden rack, which is great. At least you don't get the... Oh, this is the primary then. Wait, I'm getting confused. Never mind. This is the walk. It's about as big as a primary bedroom. That's why. Uh, that's about 13, well, 12 feet on that wall by approximately 14 on this one. It's a very spacious secondary be uh, bedroom. And then this one has also a walk-in closet. You can see nine foot ceilings throughout the second floor and eight foot ceiling, eight, eight foot doors. And you can see the full walk-in closet as well. So this one would be the first bedroom that would share this bathroom right here. This one's gonna be fiberglass enclosure. This is the included option, as you can see. It has the chrome finishes. This is all included which is not bad. It's something nice that I would definitely be okay with personally. It comes usually with one sink in this model. They specifically added the second one. So because it's a shared one, that would be your primary. There it is. And then all your bathroom and walk-in closet is all behind this wall right here. So this would be the secondary bedroom. We're looking at, wow, it's so spacious. You can fit a king bed in every bedroom up here. This is probably about 12 by 13. Beautiful. And this one has also the walk-in closet and it's even bigger than the other one. Huge. And then the primary bedroom. Sorry, so this is a total of four bedroom house. So three bedrooms upstairs and a loft and then downstairs a full bedroom. This is massive. This is huge. What is this? 20 feet right there by approximately 17 on this wall. 17 by 20. That's, that's probably even more than 20. Maybe like 21. Very spacious room. And then the bathroom over here. 
They did over here the walk-in shower with the seat, culture marble surrounds. Uh, they do have uh, an option right now, a quick move-in that has tile all the way to the ceiling as well, if that's important to you. And then the two separate sinks here with the window in between. Really nice setup. Look at the amount of counter space too. Nice water closet. It gets a door. And then check this out. I mean, this closet, I'm not kidding, is, I would say 13 by 14. I was arguing with my clients earlier, like, what do you need all this space for, right? Let me know down in the comments, what would you do in this in this closet? You can, this could be a full bedroom. I mean, you could literally like, cut this off right here. Make this your walk-in closet. And then you have another bedroom back there. Do you access from the, from the loft or something? Anyway, beautiful though. You can definitely put a, an island in here in the middle. So you can have uh, a nice ceiling fan above as well. That's probably a good option. But let me know down in the comments what you would do. Anyway, let me know what you think about this home, this floor plan. It's never been toured before because they never modeled this uh, floor plan. So I figured, you know, this YouTube channel will be helpful. That way in the future, I can also send it to my clients. 27, 87 square feet or in the upper 600s, depending on the spec home that you get. Uh, they don't allow you to build from dirt, but there's a way around this sometimes, you know. Not guaranteed, but if you reach out to me and I can help you as your realtor, I can help you customize this house from dirt. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. All my information is down below in the description. I'd love to be your realtor and help you throughout the whole process of uh, finding the perfect home for you. And then uh, after that, um, we'll get you started. We'll get you, uh, after you reach out to me, we'll get you started. We'll get onto Zoom calls, anything we need to do, consultations. To get you started with the process, find the right neighborhood for you, uh, the right school district, the right crime rates, and everything that is important to you. And then we get you on the contract with the best home that is specifically tailored to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for all new video tours of the Las Vegas builders here in the Clark County. Thanks for watching.